and you are part of the family now, so we are effectively baking with family. We've got something delicious to whip up in the kitchen right now. It's a Holly Ray kid-friendly breakfast delight. I'm talking about a savory bread and butter pudding. Yes, bread and bun pudding done savory. A little inspiration coming from her brand new show on S3, Baking with the Rays, happening today, 4.30 on this channel. Miss Holly Ray, step in front of the camera, girl. Um, you do realize you're probably going to spend more time in front of camera now than off it, eh? You're crossing that line now. You're, it's, you're, yeah. you're in the it's TV It's crazy. Land, I'm in the TV space now. Which is awesome. I love this. I've got two young kids, so I'm constantly trying to figure out ways of being sneaking in kind of healthy foods within that, but just making food interesting because yeah. it's so easy to slip into like the, that tried and tested, here's some nuggets, here's some sweet mm. potato fries. This is really interesting. So talk me through the inspiration for this bread and butter so, pudding yeah. done upside down. Mm. Well, I love, me and Mimi love to like have sandwiches, right? Yeah. So it's a great way to get her involved in making the food. Mm. Um, she makes the sandwiches, she cuts them up, she beats everything up and she can pretty much make this by herself. I just have to put it in the oven and take it and out. And take it out, do the, the yeah. parental type stuff. Okay, so you so start I'm gonna buttering, I'm going to start mixing and you talk yeah. us through what we need to do. So what you're going to do is you're going to make some sandwiches, just okay. like you make normal sandwiches. Um, and there you're gonna have, there's four eggs in there and you're gonna pop in, yeah, pop in some 500 ml of milk and just, yeah, whisk that up. Cool. I'm just gonna make these sarmies. Bada bada. And it's, it's amazing how involving your children in the process is half the battle won. I know? always say the easiest way to get a child to eat something is to get them to make it themselves. Completely. Because they're invested in the process. Um, and, um, and, and, and that starts from buying the ingredients, from exactly. everything, involve them. Get them to write the shopping list for you, you know? Yes. Yeah, pop them some chopped chives, chives there. Great. Um, going with a, a pinch. bit of A pinch of pepper. Right. A bit of salt, oh. and then a little pinch of nutmeg. Nutmeg okay. is great in anything that has dairy. Jeez, oh, really? Is. is that the thing? Because I've yeah. been wondering, because uh, it's been surfacing a lot, and I've been wondering, like, how do you know when and when not? I think nutmeg's dairy. great with okay. anything with that's, like, dairy. I mean, obviously in other things as well. But chuck a bit of nutmeg in, and it just elevates that flavor so nice. I'm going to be trying that constantly yeah. now, because that's, that's what I do when I cook with these amazing chefs, is I steal the intellectual property from the last chef and pass it off as my own with the next. <laughs> um, it's just a little... Love it, love that's it. It's a little hack. Yeah, I think you'll, you'll learn. I'm going to pop on some cheese the great thing about this as well is you can literally put whatever ingredients you like so if you want to make a chicken and cheese sound yeah, or something sure. with beef if you don't eat ham whatever your kids like and exactly. enjoy yeah, yeah you can sure. do just cheese if, if you want a vegetarian option you can pop veggies in mushrooms in then i'm just going to close these up and it, this also feels quite bougie, which is quite nice. So for if you want yeah. the kids to feel a bit more special, you know, when Better you put effort for them. Yeah, you know exactly. What I mean? And there's nothing wrong with the humble old sami. Nice. Let's you make know. no mistakes. But um, So then we're going to cut triangles. And we cut it into four triangles like that. Easy peasy. Nothing too fancy, yeah. And then we pop it in. I, I love this. Can I ask you for some advice? Because you've had a bit of experience now kind of putting this to the test, obviously, yes. with, with Mimi, and you're getting a response online. What is the hack when it comes to feeding kids? What have you discerned from this journey you've been on? And you, you, do you know how you became a mom then? I and did, you put your I hands did. I put my like hands on my hips <laughs> and I'm getting my pointy finger out, my waggy finger. Um, I think that, you know, take it easy. Every kid has different things. And I think as parents... I say as parents, I'm just the big sister sure. who takes on that role sometimes. But we're so hard on ourselves when our kids don't want to eat broccoli or cauliflower. Or just take it easy. Don't feel the pressure. Find something that they do like um, and, you know, bring it into, into their, their diet. Yeah, man. Then take... we're going to take these, we're going to pop them like this with the pointy sides up. Yeah, because it's more to exciting. Create, exactly, mm -hmm. to create some, a little bit of shape in there. Oh, look at that. Uh, and then we can stack these up like that on that side. Oh, and it looks dramatic. It's exciting. It it's bag loads of flavor, some great nutrients in there. And the big kid has helped to make it, which you means see, the big kid see. is going to eat it. Then um, easy peasy, we're going to pull that over here. Over, and then that goes into the oven 180. Exactly. Oh, for about how long? How's that? Okay, that's perfect. There we yeah. go. So that custard is going to set in the oven while it bakes, and then, yeah, 
Voila! If you want to grab this recipe, you can find it on expressoshow.com, but most importantly, you can find this and a whole lot more culinary inspiration for the entire family on Cooking with the Rays. We love it, and it's this afternoon right here on S3 on TV, baby, 4.30 p.m. You're going to get a whole load of amazing kid-friendly recipes.